Hello dear students, our today's topic is synthesis of ketamine. Ketamine belongs to the therapeutic category of general anesthetic agents. This is the structure of ketamine. If you look at the name keta, this stands for presence of this ketone and amine stands for presence of this methyl amino group. In this structure we have a ketone. So for the IUPC nomenclature, our basic functional moiety will be the ketone. So this is a six-membered cyclic compound which is attached with doubly bonded oxygen. So we will call it cyclohexanone. The carbon which is attached with doubly bonded oxygen is numbered one. So it is number one and this will be number two. So on cyclohexanone, on position number two, we have this substituent which is called as 2 chlorophenyl again on position number 2 we have methyl amino group as a substituent that's why the IUPAC name of this compound will become 2 2 chlorophenyl 2 methyl amino cyclohexanone now one important point this carbon number 2 of cyclohexanone is attached with four different groups one two three and this will be number four that's why this will be a chiral carbon and ketamine does exist in two isomeric forms that is R and S the therapeutically employed ketamine is the racemic mixture which contains both the R and the S isomers next move on to the uses Ketamine is exclusively used for starting and maintaining anesthesia during surgical procedures. Now move on to the synthesis of this compound. The synthesis starts with this starting material where this is the basic nucleus benzonitrile. Here on position number 2 we have a chlorine that's why this starting material is called as 2-chlorobenzonitrile. This reacted with this Grignard reagent which is called as cyclopentyl magnesium bromide. The reaction takes place in presence of dry ether. Now when this cyclopentyl group is attached with magnesium, this cyclopentyl group will acquire a negative charge because magnesium is electropositive and it has the tendency to donate its electron so one of the electron will be donated to this cyclopentyl group which will make it a negative one so it will become a carbon ion and this will then attack on this nucleophilic center so this nucleophile attack on this nucleophilic center to give us the nucleophilic addition product this mgbr then goes on to this nitrogen Thus, one single bond will be broken down and we will get formation of this addition product. Here you can see that the cyclopentyl group is added on this carbon and BrMg is added on this nitrogen. This will give us formation of this bromomagnesiomethylidine amine group. This compound then is reacted with water that is HOH the hydrogen goes to this nitrogen to make it make it an H so that's why this bond will be broken down the hydroxyl group from water goes to this carbon and from that hydroxyl group the hydrogen will be migrated over this nitrogen to make it NH2 so the whole molecule will become NH2 MgBr which will be liberated out from here and thus this carbon will make a double bond with this oxygen to make it a ketone simply you can say that these two hydrogens will go on to the nitrogen and this oxygen will go on to the carbon to give us the ketone this ketone is then reacted with bromine in presence of carbon tetrachloride 
Now this is a very familiar reaction and is known as free radical substitution reaction. This carbon is alpha to this carbonyl group and this is a tertiary one. So this carbon undergoes chiefly the free radical substitution reaction with this bromine and we have thus the attachment of bromine on this alpha carbon to give us this derivative. This derivative then is reacted with this compound, this amine which is called as methanamine or methylamine. Here is presence of the ketone and it is amine. So amine attack on this carbonyl group to give us the nucleophilic addition reaction. So two hydrogens and one oxygen will be removed out as water molecule and thus this carbon will make a double bond with nitrogen. So with this we have formation of our next compound this one. This is simply the formation of imine that is the compound containing double bond between carbon and the nitrogen. Now this imine then is reacted with boiling decaline in presence of a base which will give us the hydroxide ions. This hydroxide ion attack on the carbon which is attached with bromine. This will give us the nucleophilic substitution reaction the SN1 type and this gives us formation of this hydroxylated derivative like this. This hydroxylated derivative then undergoes a very important re rearrangement which is called as alpha keto rearrangement. Now you can see this hydroxy group is here and this nitrogen is here. The hydrogen of hydroxy group will move on to this nitrogen to make it NHCS3. When hydrogen migrated to here, this one of this double bond will be broken down. The electrons are given to this hydrogen. Thus, this carbon will then become electron deficient. That means it will become a carbocation. Likewise, when hydrogen migrated from here, this oxygen tends to make a double bond with this carbon. In doing this, this single bond will be broken down and the electron of the single bond will go on to this carbon. So this carbon will become a carbon ion which will acquire the negative charge. So this negatively charged carbon then attack on this positively charged carbon and thus a bond will be formed between this and this carbon. So when the bond is formed between this and this carbon, there will be the expansion of this five member ring into a six member ring like this. Here you can easily see that this carbon will now become part of this cyclic ring system and here with this we have formation of our title compound ketamine. But ketamine is very poor water soluble. To increase its water solubility it is reacted with HCl. This hydrogen which is liberated out from HCl will go on to this amino group to make it a quaternary one which will acquire the positive charge and with this positively charged amino group this Cl will be in the ionic bond. Though positive and the negative charges are developed over here, this compound will thus have the water solubility. In this way, the water solubility of ketamine will be enhanced by making its hydrochloride salt form. So that is all about ketamine and its synthesis. Thanks for watching the video. Please like share and subscribe.